Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at Nico Williams. The amazing young talents have been able to capture the interest of major big clubs around Europe and before we get into the analysis side of the video, I would like everyone to have a basic understanding of his playing style. Nico Williams is a young player who you could describe in three major words which are his ball carrying, dribbling and creativity, especially from wide areas. Every other thing seems to be an addition. So since everyone knows this now, let's begin. Taking a look at the stats, he trumps over finishers in two important areas, which are his dribbles completed for 90 and his dribbling accuracy. That could make you believe he's almost as good as Vinicius, but a lot of output and productivity with his dribbling also matters. Nico Williams is a player who have received a lot of praises about his dribbling, his movement and I think he deserves a lot of them. He's an electric player, a player with a lot of explosive action, quick footwork and he's also double footed so that makes him almost unpredictable. But at the same time, he started off hot and blew up cold so in a long run situation, in a counter where he's being chased down by a quick fullback, he's likely to get caught or forced to make another kind of action. Everything about his dribbling is perfect quick footwork and tight space, leaving defenders with only option of fouling him. I like everything about him honestly, but the only place where I see him lacking is his flair. He doesn't really have that flair for his game, no 5 star skill, all he bothers about is just efficiency, getting the job done and move on and that is quite good, but at the same time, he would love some fun. I would like you to take a closer look at his chances created and true boost for 90 because that is key to the next explanation I have to do. Nico Williams I have found is a pure winger, a winger who just stays on the touchline and do things from there. He is no number 10. You don't find him being so comfortable in the half space. He just run down the channel and give a cross to create chances for him game. He's not a player who you could actually say you want him to drift in and give true balls, break lines on a consistent basis. No, he's not that kind of player. Nico Williams is heavily dependent on his crosses, cuts backs, because he's actually quite good at them. He could do them over and over and over again and get away with it each single time. His dribbling actually aids him a lot with how he could push the ball forward and create chances out of nothing. And his crosses are actually good always with the intent of hurting you, not to buy you the chance of clearing the ball away. He has created loads of chances with this system. Even the week before I created this video, he created an assist against Las Palmas with an in-swinging cross. So he's very, very dangerous from this situation and having a pure poacher in the box and Nico Williams, that would be a very, very lethal combo. Yeah, we see he hasn't been getting enough chances himself or generating enough for himself and he hasn't been wasteful with the lead he has had for himself. His shooting accuracy definitely tell he has a good, good shooting technique. But one thing I actually found that is he doesn't have a wide range of shooting skills. His shooting skills are actually very limited but at the same time he's doing good enough with what he has and there's something I like about him. Even when he's not being able to score from outside the box, he doesn't have that long range technique to score like screamers or goal of the season kind of stuff. He's also very good at attacking the box. For example, if a striker drifts out wide to help run the channel, he is able to immediately fill in that spot, especially in counter situations. His passing accuracy at 67% isn't really the best, but he receives the ball 32 times per game that actually indicates he's a trusted player in possession. His manager stated it he will allow Nico Williams make mistakes, give some wrong passes, lose the possession sometimes, but he would want him to go again and go again and definitely that is the best environment for a young player like Nico Williams and so many players out there who love to dribble and try different stops in possession. Because Nico Williams is a player who Athletic Club trusts when they're trying to create something out of nothing, he's definitely the player they go to. But overall, in possession, in his own half, he doesn't try risky stuff. He's quite tidy, 
a few want to touch and he's back in the attack no too much fancy or hollywood passes trying to lose the ball in his own half and i respect that about him there's a lot of players today in today's game who loves dribbling and you see them making meaningless and headless turnovers losing the ball and causing the team to concede chances but nico williams is a very tidy player His defense numbers is actually impressive but I'm not actually surprised because to play for Athletic Club to be a confirmed starter there are two rules every player must show commitment and every player must put in the work so even if you're not making tackles intercepting the ball you must press you must press head and that is definitely what Nico Williams is all about when he's not with the ball he's definitely trying to win it back and as a player who tends to lose the ball sometimes his manager has always asked him to win the ball back So right now we are at the conclusion part of this video and I guess everyone have noticed his strength. For him to choose the next club, I believe that club should be able to have a striker. A striker that's good with connecting with crosses, a striker that's clinical, a striker that feeds off goals like tappings, tappings kind of goals. Because if you're buying him and you don't have a striker who's good with connecting with crosses, then why are you buying him? You're not even putting his strength to good use, you're trying to force him into a team and demand goals but I don't think that is his biggest strength. Goals might come if the team scores more but definitely I will not be buying Nico Williams to come and score 15-20 goals for me because that isn't really his strength. Nico Williams is a player I find very simple but what he does, he does it at a very very high level. His crosses are his biggest strength. He could give you in swinging, out swinging, he knows how to create chances out of nothing by just a few little space he pushed the ball he's faster than the fullback and boom that's a chance so a striker must be there a big guy who could connect with chances so if he's coming to the premier league a striker like Rasmus Hodgson actually makes sense but style does change forms go but so i would like everyone to just keep an eye on this one he's an amazing player a player i believe could actually go high in his game i like a lot of things of how he keeps things simple but in the box that is why he is a trick so see you guys next time thanks for watching if you watched so far and like this video subscribe and share and remember lastly that jesus loves you